Hello, my dear students. Welcome to our online lesson. Today we are going to talk about mixed conditionals. Assalamu alaikum, formatli talabalar. Online darsimiz ga xush kelibsiz. Bugun siz bilan ingliz tilida aralash noreal shart gaplar haqida so'xatlashamiz. Lesson 13. Mixed conditionals. 13-dars. Aralash noreal shart gaplar. Objectives: to develop students' listening and reading skills. To teach students mention grammar rules. Nasli maqsadi. Talabalarning tinglash va o'qish qobiliyatlarini rivojlantirish. Talabalarga yuqorida tilga olingan grammatik qoidalarni o'rgatish. Outcomes. By the end of the lesson, students shall be able to get grammar rules to practice themselves. Dars so'ngida erishiladigan natijalar. Dars so'ngida talabalar quyidagilarga ega bo'lishadi. Grammatikani to'liq o'zlashtira olishadi. Kozları üstüde müstakil işleye oluşadı. What are mixed conditionals? Aralash nor yaz şart kaplar nima? Mixed conditionals are conditionals where the tense in the main clause is different from the tense in the conditional clause, also called if clause. Aralash nor yaz şart kaplar, bazen şart irgaş kaptaki iş hareket, otken zamanı talıklı bulup, Natijasi bosh gapdagi ish harakat hozirgi zamonga ta'liqli bo'lishi yoki aksincha bo'lishi mumkin. Bunday gaplar aralash shart gaplar deyiladi. Let's watch the video about mixed conditionals. Keling, birgalikda aralash noreal shart gaplar haqidagi video lavhani tomosha qilamiz. Today we're going to talk about mixed conditionals. Let's start by revising the second and third conditionals. Second condition. Structure. If plus past simple. Would plus infinitive. An imaginary or unlikely situation in the present with a result in the present or future. Let's see some examples. If I were male, I would play football with the boys. But in reality, she is female and she won't play football with the boys. So this makes the situation imaginary or hypothetical. If I were on holiday today, I would go to the beach. But I am not on holiday, so I won't go to the beach. Again, the situation is imaginary. Now let's revise the third condition. The structure is if plus past perfect would have plus past participle. An imaginary situation in the past with a result in the past. Let's look at some examples. If she had taken a taxi, she wouldn't have missed the train. This is an imaginary situation in the past with a result also imaginary in the past. She didn't take a taxi and she regrets it. The train is gone. If the Titanic hadn't hit an iceberg, its passengers would have arrived in America. Again, this is an imaginary situation in the past, with a hypothetical result in the past. The Titanic did hit an iceberg and most of the passengers didn't arrive in America. Now let's look at the two ways to mix these conditionals. Mix conditional type 1. Past situation with present result. If plus past perfect. Would plus infinitive. Mix conditional type 2. Present situation with past result. If plus past simple. Would have plus past participle. Let's explain them in more detail one by one. Mixed conditional type 1. Past situation, present result. If plus past perfect, would plus infinitive. We take the first part of the structure from the third conditional and the second part of the structure from the second conditional. Here are some examples. If I hadn't stayed up so late last night, I wouldn't feel so tired now. I stayed up late in the past and I feel tired now in the present. 
If I hadn't found the key, I would still be locked out. I found the key in the past. I am not locked out in the present. For this type of mixed conditional, it is common to see the verbs be, feel and seem, and the words now and still in the second part. Mixed conditional type 2 Present or general situation Effect on past events If plus past simple Would have plus past participle The first part of the second conditional And the second part of the third conditional Here are some examples If I didn't have to go to school today I wouldn't have been so unhappy yesterday I have to go to school today in the present. I was unhappy yesterday in the past. If she were better organised, she would have passed the exam. She isn't well organised in general. She didn't pass the exam yesterday in the past. Now let's compare the third conditional with the first type of mixed condition. Third conditional. Past situation. Past result. If plus past perfect would have plus past participle. If her boyfriend hadn't broken up with her, she wouldn't have been upset yesterday. Mixed conditional type 1. Past situation, present result. If plus past perfect would plus infinitive. If her boyfriend hadn't broken up with her, she wouldn't be upset now. Now let's compare the second conditional with mixed conditional type 2. Second conditional. Present situation. Present result. If plus past simple. Would plus infinitive. If he were faster, he would win the race tomorrow. Mixed conditional type 2. Present or general situation. Effect on past events. If plus past simple would have plus past participle. If he were faster, he would have won the race yesterday. I hope that makes conditionals clearer for you. Good luck with your English grammar. Dear students, here are a few examples for you. You need to do these examples. Let's practice. Hormatli talabalar, mana sizlar uchun bir nechta misollar. Siz ushbu misollarni bajarishingiz kerak. Qani birgalikda mash qilaylik. Dear students, now I explain you the first example. Please pay attention. Hurmatli talabalar, sizlar uchun birinchi misolni tushuntirib beraman. Iltimos, e'tibor berib turing. If my mom knew that she would be angry with me. Agar onam uni bilganida edi, U mendan jahli chiqqan bo'lar edi. Hurmatli talabalar, qolgan misollarni o'zingiz mustaqil bajaring. Dear students, let's check your answers. Formatli talabala, kening jawablaringizni tekshirib olamiz. 1. If my mom knew that, she would be angry with me. Agar onam buni bilganda edi, u mendan jahli chiqqan bo'lar edi. 2. I will walk the dog if I have time. Agar vaqtim bo'lsa, kuchugimni sayrga olib chiqaman. 3. If you smile a little bit more, you will be more attractive. Agar biroz jilmaysangiz, siz yanada jozibador ko'rinasiz. 4. The plant wouldn't die if you watered it more. Agar ko'proq suv qo'yganingizda edi, o'simlik qurib qolmagan bo'lar edi. 5. If they train it harder, they would play better. Agar ular ko'proq mehnat qilgan edi, chug'ullangan edi, ular yaxshiroq o'ynar edi. 6. If Pam goes to the beach, 
She will swim in the sea. Agar pen sohalga bolsa, u dengizda chumaladi. 7. You you will feel much better if you do more sports. Agar sport bilan chug'ullansang, o'zingni ko'proq yaxshi his qilasan. 8. I would give her a present if she loved me. Agar u meni yoqtirganda edi, men unga sovg'a bergan bo'lar edim. Dear students, it's time to give a homework. Please do all exercise at home. Hurmatli talabalar, uyga topshiriq berish vaqti keldi. Foydagi barcha misollarni uyda bajarib kelishingiz kerak bo'ladi. Hurmatli talabalar, shuning bilan bugungi online darsimiz o'z nihoyasiga yetdi. Xayr, salomat bo'ling. Thanks for your attention.